Former Wake County School Superintendent Kathy Moore is talking about her new role in Durham. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. I'm Bill Young. And I'm Liz Ortiz. The Durham Public School Board hired Moore last week to oversee schools after the sudden resignation of Pascal Mubanga. CBS 17's Haley Vixler is live in Durham. And Haley, does she have a plan to get the district back on track? No concrete plan yet. She says this is really a journey that's going to take years. Moore believes that this is just a temporary implementation issue. And she reiterated the district's determination to find a solution. Now, today was really just an, un in an opportunity to introduce the former Wake County superintendent, who's now filling in during the week of sta weeks and weeks of staff callouts and protests amid the ongoing pay dispute. Now, more and officials say that DPS actually pays more than some of the other districts, but she still believes it's important to listen to staff who she believes are critical to the success of schools. And of course, another big topic today, the amount of school that children have missed. I asked her what's the plan to make up those days and any future days. Almost all districts exceed those hours of instruction and number of days that you need to be in school. So there is um, what a lot of districts historically called banked time that can be used when students are not in session before you have to start making up time by, you know, you know, taking teacher work days or looking at vacation days and making them student days. Um, we have we are we don't we have we are not there yet, but we will be if we can if we have additional school closure. Now, Moore says some schools don't have any wiggle room and other schools just have one day before they hit that point. I also asked officials about the CFO and the severance package, and we hope to have that information for you later today. Live in Durham, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. Haley, did they say when they're going to meet next? Well, Caddy Moore is actually meeting on Thursday with the Durham Association of Educators. And then on the 22nd, there is that open school board meeting. And officials hope that meeting will end with some sort of solution. Liz, Bill. All right. Haley, thank you for the update.